What's up guys, Jake here and today we will be showing you how to make an Xbox dashboard background because I looked around and there aren't really that many videos on it thought it would be interesting ones too um, so you want to make a new document um, can I just say first of all like I did this in my uh, last speed art but it didn't even get 100 views, which was sort of odd seems to my speed art ones usually get like, over 400, so either YouTube messed up and didn't put it in anyone's self box, or you just all hate me now and everyone's gone inactive, I don't know. But if you didn't see that, it'll probably be the video below this, so yeah, just go and check that out as well, I might even link it in this. Um, so first of all, you're going to want to download this template. Um, I'll put, I think I've put it on far front already, but if I haven't I'll put it on there. And the link will be in the description. Uh, you can change the colour of this to whatever you want. I'm going to go for grey. Um, then you're going to want to make a new layer so that you can have background. This part here won't actually show up on the desk, on the um, dashboard. It'll be covered up, so it really doesn't matter uh, what colour you make that, and just so it stands out more, making it grey. Um, basically, you can do what you want, mess around with all different effects that you know. I'm just going to go for a grey hint overlay. Um, colour. I like blue. So, we're going to have blue. Drag that, post shot's being a bit slow, had it open a couple of days, so it slows down if I leave it open. Um, next, well, basically that's it. If you want to just have a blue background, you can do that. I'll make it a bit more interesting for you, otherwise, this video is going to be stupidly short. Uh, let's add a lens flare. And I'm going to add it in this top corner here. There we go, so there's a lens flare up there now. Um, what else could we add? We could add the lighting effect. And um, let's just drag these out of it. Mm, too much. Look at this art. Okay, let's see what that comes out like. That sort of ruined the lens flare a bit, didn't it? Let's not do that, it doesn't look very good. Um, right, let's try that again. Maybe I will drag it out the whole way just so it shows up. In fact, let's have my sort of messing up here. Sorry. Oh, let's just go for that. Uh, I can add enough of that into there if I need it. Actually, no, it's showing up there. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's just adding another cool effect to it. Uh, let's make a new layer. Uh, have black. Oh, black and white. Um, then we can add some clouds. So, render clouds. And then I'm going to definitely turn the intensity down on this. Just again, adds a nice little smoky effect to it. Looks quite cool with the light shining through on it. Um, again, you can just play around with whatever you want, really. I'm going to add... Um, I'm actually going to add a pattern over the top of this. So, double click on your background layer. Uh, pattern overlay. Not that pattern, it's rubbish. Yeah. Let's turn the opacity right down on it, just so it's showing through slightly, and turn the scale down as well. Don't know how well it's going to show up, but trust me, there is like a difference here. Um, then you could, I don't know, write your Xbox game tag name. So. We do it in the Pokemon font because I downloaded that and I like Pokemon font. 
Uh, I'll do my Xbox game tag. Mr. Mud Kips. So you can just have it like that. You could change all the colours on those and do what you want. This just guide what I'm doing. You can do anything basically. Uh, hmm, Mr. Mud Kips is blue, but it's blue backgrounds. So it's not going to show up, is it? Do it in yellow. Could make it all multi coloured, I guess. But I'm not actually going to use this one, so I don't really care. Um, you can add pictures to it. So we could. I think I've got a picture of Mr. Mud Kips somewhere. I'm not quite sure where I would have him. Um, sorry, I haven't planned this very well, I just thought, make it back, oh, yeah, that's why. I just thought we'd like, I'd do one last, let's use this guy, I thought I'd do one last uh, tutorial before I go back to college, which is going to suck, I'll go back next week, and yeah, I don't know how many of these I'm going to be able to make. This isn't Mr. Mud Kips, by the way, it's just a random unicorn kid. Um, album artwork. Uh, if you want to make your own renders, because I, I don't know, Planet Render doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Uh, what you do is you have to go here to Quick Select Tool and then basically you just drag it around the bits that you want. It works really well if um, you have a white background and not so well with like other backgrounds, but Oh well, you can't ever get it perfect. Well, you can get it perfect if you take loads of time, but I'm not going to take loads of time. So, let me just close that. How long have I been recording? Seven minutes. It's already quite long, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to just stop it in a minute because there's not really much point showing you all of this. But basically, that is it. That is my background. Um, I'll show you one I did, the one that I actually use as my desktop background. Basically needs that uh, template and anyone can read it. So um, yeah, this is the one that I used as my background on my dashboard. That's the one I made in the speed part, it's the one I use. So see, I, I spent quite a bit more time on this, that's Mr. Mudkip. Um, yeah, that one's quite cool, but you can do what you want, and yeah, I'm going to stop now. Oh, one last thing, um, if you don't know the Toral, probably should, I'm pretty sure most of my subs are probably sub to him, but he's almost at 1k, and he's releasing his montage at 1,000 subs, so go and sub to him so the montage can come out, because... I want it out by at least the end of this week so I can watch it before I go back to school. So yeah, go and check him out because I put a link to him in the description. Thanks for watching and goodbye.